previously on Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. Still, though. Rawr. And then the adventure continues. Hello, everybody. Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. Uh, before we get started here, I want to very quickly show off my view totals for both uh, Treasure Trove Cove and for Clanker's Cavern, because I didn't really go over that. Uh, Treasure Trove Cove, 22 minutes, 43 seconds. Not bad. You know... Uh, definitely could do that a little faster. And, uh, Clanker's Cavern 2346. I thought I actually did it faster than that, but... Eh, there were a few parts where I kind of kept falling and had to keep recovering, so... Guess I'm not too surprised. So, yeah. Uh, there we go. And now that that's over with, we can actually continue. So, let's get back to the game. Uh, next level we're going to go to is, uh... Bubble Gloop Swamp, which is what we unlocked in the... Uh, not the last video, but the one before it. Uh, first we have to go through this note door. You need 180 notes to get through here. Take a bow, young Banjo. You've opened a door. Congratulations. And let's see. Okay, we have some new enemies here. Uh, this enemy right here used to always freak me out because, uh, well, it's a piranha and it has really huge teeth. Let's see if we can try to get it to bite me. Okay, almost. Well, too bad. I'm not going to let you bite me today, so... Sayonara, fish guts. Why the heck did I call them fish guts? Eh, the world will never know. Okay, so the fourth world is in this room right here, but before I do go there, let's go ahead and see what's in these little tunnels to the side. First, we have a pair of boots. Hey, keep your feet out! You can't use us until you've spoken to bottles! Okay, so I guess that's a future move we'll have. And in the other hole, we'll go ahead and check this too. We have our good friend Brintilda, who's going to tell us more secrets. So, what do you have to tell us today, Brintilda? My fat old sister's favorite sport is belly barging. Although she's dim, she attended Cauldron College. You won't believe that Gruntilda's party trick is eating a bucket of beans. Oh, come on. Those weren't that bad or humiliating. I mean, they could have been worse, like that putrid parrot puke one, but... Uh, still pretty tame for, uh, Grunty, I guess, for now, anyway. I'm sure we'll have some other very disturbing ones later. Uh, anything over here? No, just a honeycomb box. Well, we'll leave that alone, because we're full health. Anyway, fourth world, ahoy. Now, right off the bat, we can actually learn our new move by going over here. These are the wading boots. Chicken Legs wears them so you can safely wade through dangerous areas like the swamp for a limited time. Okay, Chicken or Kazooie, let's go grab a pair. Great, now you know all the swamp's new moves! Okay, well that's it, that was easy. Uh, before we actually get started though, uh, let's go ahead and go to the exit pad really quick. Because... We can actually use those boots now to uh, access a hidden area. Ooh, hidden area. I like hidden areas, so you know what? We're going to pay that hidden area a visit. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves a pair of boots. Now, normally you don't, don't actually need the boots to get this here. In fact, I try to avoid getting them because it wastes time, but... Um, you have to wade through the swamp, and there's a good possibility that you'll run out of time and get a little bit of damage knocked out of you, but, um... Oh, I'm gonna actually make it here. Okay, that walk was actually shorter than I thought. Okay, well, that's good. Cool. Well, anyway, in this area, we have the entrance to the fifth world, Freeze Easy Peak, so we'll go ahead and finish this puzzle up. We have the Jiggy Sports, so why not? And we're also going to want to go over here and take out this icicle rock that's uh, blocking this little cave. 
Uh, we can't go in this cave yet, but at the end of uh, Bubble Gloop Swamp, we will be able to. So I'm um, going to keep that open for right now. So we're going to grab our waiting boots again so we can get through the swamp with minimal, if no, damage uh, taken away from our health. So very quickly make ourselves back. I almost ran out of time that time. But yeah, now that we've done that, let's actually start this level. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite levels, believe it or not. I don't know why. I think I just like this level a lot because it came after Clanker's Cavern, which, as I mentioned before, I uh, wasn't a big fan of that growing up. Yummy! Crocodus like that! Me want yummy egg too! Okay, so we'll have to feed those guys throughout the level. I think we can do that. Uh, what else do we have around here? Uh, okay, the bottles move us back there, so I think we can actually continue now. Okay, there's our first Jinjo. Ouch, I... Oops, my bad. Sorry, piranhas, I didn't mean to uh, tread through your home. Okay, that's the first first Jinjo. Hey, leave me alone, frog. What did I ever do to you? I'm not Homer Simpson. I don't lick toads. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab these boots over here so we can get through the swamp easier. If I can... Oh. Okay, fine. I guess I'm taking out the frogs first. I wanted to leave them alone, but no, they did not give me that option. Okay, so you can take the leaf over here too, but I believe you want to use the boots because, yes, there are notes on the back of this uh, swamp area, so... I'll go ahead and grab those first. And then, we'll jump on top of this egg, and X marks the spot after we grab the one up. Let us proceed to uh, bust all these egg positions. And you probably will know what our prize is. It's a Jiggy. Wow, a Jiggy. I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> no, we totally did. Come on. Basically, anything that looks like that will give you a reward is usually a Jiggy. Maybe an extra life or a Mumbo token or something, but even then, it's most of the time a Jiggy. Okay, before we go any further, let's go ahead and get this part out of the way. This Jiggy is timed, so we're going to have to race ourselves to grab it. Now, normally you might want to talent trot all the way through here, but I think you can make it just by walking. I prefer not to use the talent trot here because uh, you go a little faster and you have a greater chance of falling off. Come on, grab the note, thank you. Actually, let's go ahead and skip these notes so we can grab this first. Now we'll make our way back and get all the collectibles that were, uh, amongst the cliffs. Including the green Jinjo. Another Mumbo token. Also, I think I accidentally said this in a earlier video, but obviously we know that one that Mumbo doesn't appear in every world. He only appears in five worlds, but um, every time he appears, the price for the spell increases by five tokens, so you're still going to want to collect these uh, tokens pretty regularly. Just to make sure you don't, you know, um, come up short later on. So now that we've done that, let's jump over here to this little, uh, stump fest. Uh, an ugly, hairy trespasser. He's after our gold, but he'll never beat us all. We'll see about that. 
Because frogs are tricky, I'll go ahead and use the Wonder Wing. If I can jump out of this stump, my god. Blob, you're too tough for us, Flibbits. Take our gold. Okay, I can. In fact, I would actually prefer that, so thank you. Um, let's see, where do we want to go next? Uh, well, we have Turtle, we have... Uh, crocodile. Let's, let's go this way first. We'll deal with the swampland creatures later. Over here, we have a bunch of huts we can destroy. Much like in the first level. Oh, there's the witch switch. How convenient. That may seem pointless, but that will help us get a Jiggy later on, so... Yeah, don't worry. We didn't do that just for the sake of destroying the witch and her beautiful creations throughout the castle. There is a reason for everything we do. So, let us not uh, fret on that for right now. Oh, God. Wrong direction. Let's go this way. This way looks better. <laughs> okay, first off, let's go up here so we can grab the Jiggy that's at the top. Then we'll go over here and do this other stuff. You want an egg? Here you go. Okay, I think we're actually done, so let's fly down. Being very careful that we don't fall and kill ourselves. Oh god. Oh. I thought I made it, but now I guess I hit the swamp. Well, thankfully we have some health right here, so... No complaints. Okay, what do we have over here? Well, we have you, obviously. I have a feeling we have other stuff, though, so I'm not gonna bother with you for now. Okay, no. I think we're good. Okay. Ooh, gold feathers. Could use those. Uh, not really concerned about the eggs. Oh, there are notes over there. Okay, I knew there was a reason to grab those boots. Okay, hold on a minute going back for just a moment, and also to feed you, too. I think that's the last crocodile we have to feed, although don't quote me on that. Although I should know that, but apparently I don't. Okay, let's do this the right way now. Because apparently I can't do it the right way the first time. <laughs> oh, come on, really? Those frogs are actually hard to hit, believe it or not. I don't know why, they just are. Okay, that's Jinjo number blue. Before we go over anything else over here, we actually want to go to the turtle first, but I had to get that croctopus, the um, little alligator thing first, so that's why I went over there before. So we have this giant turtle and his giant feet. Although it sounds like we're hurting him, we're actually doing him good because his feet are cold. And apparently he can't, um, realize that he has to bring his feet back in his shell to be comfortable. So we have to teach him this lesson. And he gives us the Jiggy and the pleasure of, uh, 
him opening his mouth. Which that may not seem like a reward, but it actually is. Okay, let's get you out of the way. Okay, there we go. That's it for the croctopuses. Or croctuses. I don't know why I call them croctopuses. They're definitely not octopuses. <laughs> I'm thinking of the Donkey Kong Country enemy, aren't I? Yeah, 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 definitely. Okay, well there I go, mixing up rare games again. Okay, well let's go inside his mouth for no reason. Oh, wow. His mouth is actually a classroom. Or rather, his body, anyway. How quaint. I like this a lot. I have no idea why, I just do. I believe there's also a Mumbo token behind me. Yep. Also, uh, I don't know if I can do this right away, but I'll try. Nope. Quiet, please. The famous Tipped Up Choir will now perform my latest work. Light blue. Pink blue. Bad short, isn't it? Ciao, boy. Well, see, copy what you just heard for lesson one. Actually, no. That's a... No! I don't want to hear it again. I want to grab the piece of honeycomb that's above your desk for some reason. Oh, I missed it. No! Shut up! <laughs> I don't want to hear your choir. I mean, I'm sure they're nice, and I'm sure they're good singers, but I want the honey... No! <laughs> okay, well, I better not forget the melody now. <laughs> Especially after that. My god. Okay, there we go. Thank god. <laughs> I have to admit, that is funny, though, that I keep activating that accidentally. Okay, well, um, light blue, purple, or pink, rather, and blue. And then we have to do this again. Hmm, not bad. Try lesson two. Let's see, pink... Purple, pink, blue, purple. Purple? Was that first? No, it was pink. Dang it. Okay, well, that's fine. I knew the same basic pattern. It just wasn't in the right order. I can't memorize five colors in order. Okay, one more lesson, and we get our jiggy. Okay, pink, orange, purple, red, purple, pink, blue. Okay, I think I got this. Pink, orange, purple, red, purple, blue? Okay, no, it's pink, then blue. There we go. Magnificent, a true masterpiece. Here, take this trinket I found earlier. So yes, uh, Tipped Up is actually another example of the uh, Diddy Kong Racing uh, philosophy, where he appeared as a character there first, didn't have his own game, and then he appeared in this game. Also, I don't like you. <laughs> uh, that uh, turtle called me a fatty. Yeah, well, you're a turtle.